just to give you a general idea what first year housing looks like, this is our first year quad. So over here we have my dorm, Tiernan. Right over there we have Lovejoy, another dorm, which is not for first years, but for sophomores. But then over here we have Hoeing and Gilbert, also both dorms for first years. So right now I'm inside Tiernan in the dorm that I live in, inside the first year quad. So let me just take you through this and show you what it looks like. These are some of the hallways, singles and doubles, as well as triples all around. Let me just walk you into my room. So this is what my room looks like. So I actually live in a triple in Tiernan, and this is because I asked to be in a triple. Essentially, I said that it would be okay if I was placed in a triple, but if you do apply, you don't have to be in a triple because there are also doubles and sometimes singles for freshmen as well. So yeah, this is what a triple looks like in Tiernan Hall. Pretty much all the necessities you need for a dorm room. And in a bit, I'll show you what doubles and singles look like in other dorms as well. So one thing I absolutely love about your housing is that every single dorm is equipped to some sort of study or social space. So in the dorm I live in, tier nine, a first year dorm, we have a lot of lounges and conference halls where you only do homework or just hang out. So for example, this is a tier nine conference room area where it is personally my favorite place to study, especially before exams because there's not too many people here and it's literally 10 seconds away from my dorm room with people always studying. It's 9 a.m. currently. You can see that there are always people studying, which is great because once in a while, I have trouble doing something and I can always ask for help with the people that are around. This is an example of what lounges look like in most dorms. So for example, there's a lot of things in here. Mostly this is used as a social space, but besides that, it is also a great place to study. This is why I love your housing because every single dorm essentially has a similar lounge on pretty much every single floor. So right now I'm walking to my economics lecture. And this is probably the weirdest yet yeah, most entertaining class I've taken, so hopefully I can get some footage of the class. And to anyone who's actually deciding to come to the University of Rochester, I highly recommend taking this class just because our professor's, let's say, unorthodox method of teaching really makes economics interesting. So hopefully I can get some footage of the class. So it's like the seventh round. They have me and this woman back so many times. Twice we had an interview together. <laughs> like together. Like me and her at dinner. And they were like seeing how we interacted, the whole thing, so awkward. So we colluded, right? We're like, here, this is what we're gonna do. So we look like equally good candidates, obviously. So at the end, they couldn't decide, apparently. This is what they tell me, at least. They couldn't decide, and they were talking about something that, the, they, apparently they paid attention to the dinner, dinner conversation more than I did. So now I'm off to my Chinese class, so hopefully I can get some footage of that as well. So inside this building, we have our Douglas Dining Hall, and I believe it starts serving breakfast at around 7 a.m., and then serving food about 9 p.m. We can also get late night snacks past midnight. So let's walk inside and show you what the dining hall looks like. So welcome to the Douglas Dining Hall. So here we have main different options, maybe from kosher station to other vegan and gluten-free options. All over the place, we have different stations that we get food. So one thing I would like to be very honest about is that weather was actually not a factor that I was considering when applying to this university, but I just want to say that here at Rochester, the weather does get pretty intense. It snows a lot and sometimes you don't really get much of the sun. So coming from California, this is actually quite a shock because I don't get to see the sun as often, but the weather is manageable. I'd say it gets around zero degrees Fahrenheit at the lowest, but yeah. I just want to say, weather does get pretty intense here, it gets pretty cold. So one great thing about the university is that we have very developed what we call the tunnel system. So in order to avoid the cold, we have these tunnels to get around campus. As you can see, there's a lot of outward around, and it's just great because I can get from all my classes through these tunnels without being in the cold for too long. So as I was saying, we have a lot of artwork around, and mostly these are just club announcements. So for example, right here we have the announcement for the blood drive usually tells you dates and places, which is cool, because when you get to walk through these tunnels, you can always know what's happening around campus. So right now I'm on my way to office hours, so I think it's an appropriate time to talk about office hours, TA and professor availability. So for example, right now I'm going to math office hours. And the great thing about this is that we always have professors and TAs setting up their time schedules, usually online on this thing we call Blackboard, which is our portal system where they talk about the specific times they're available. We can always come in, chat about homework, chat about stuff that we don't get about class. 
for example, in math, I am struggling in calculus, so every single time I get an opportunity to walk through my professor's office or my TA's office, I can always ask questions and get some help on the homework. And also, depending on the availability of professors, sometimes professors will have TAs host office hours. For example, in my economics class, we have TAs, which are also undergrads, I've done well in the class before, do office hours every single day. We can just talk about the homework and also the stuff that's happening in class. Make sure that this limit is less than one, and the answer it doesn't have to be small at all. There's no restriction. So right now I'm standing in the center of Eastman Quad, which is pretty much the academic quad here on campus. So all around we have buildings where you have a lot of classrooms. So if you're taking a class, it's most likely going to be in one of these buildings. So here, for example, is Dewey Hall. This is the place where I have my economics lecture and also where I have my debate team meetings. All right here we have Hoyt Auditorium. I don't really have class in there, but I know they host weekend activities such as showcasing movies and stuff like that. So that's usually the time where I'll go inside. Here we have Bosch Alam. They here, I believe they're the optics building. I can't really tell you much about that as I am not taking any optics classes. Over there we have the Rush Reeves Library, pretty much a great place for anything, socializing, studying, reading, anything you want to do, you probably find in Rush Reeves. And Redner Laboratory, I believe that's what it's called. We have computer labs and other stuff like that. And just a lot of other buildings here on campus where you would take classes right here in the Eastman Academic Quad. So right here in the heart of campus, we have our library named Rush Reeves. It's probably the most scenic place in this university. Like at a sudden night and all the lights out here. Absolute beauty. So let me actually walk into Rush Reeves and just show you what it looks like on the inside. So as soon as you walk into Rush Reeves, you have different social and study spaces all around the library. So let me take you inside just to show you what it looks like. Right here we have a Q&A desk that helps you with pretty much anything. Ranging from like finding books at the library and also getting around campus. We have a bunch of laptops and computers over here for printing stuff. Here's like a social event somewhere over here. Printing stations are over here, as well as scanning stations. Also a lot of classrooms and computer labs inside the library. So the Brush Reeves, we have Gleason Library, another amazing social and study space. I believe this space works for 24 hours a day, so if you have a final coming up or you have something to study for as long as 24 hours, you can always stay in here. Downstairs, we have a UR Tech Zone and also a newly built I Zone right over here, another amazing social and study space right over there. So right here, we have the first level of our stacks with a bunch of books all around. This is just one level of the library as we have a bunch of different levels of stacks where you have a bunch of different books all over the place. You can find pretty much anything you're looking for. If you're writing a research paper, this is an amazing resource to come inside, ask for a specific book to look for. Just get it out here in the Rush Reeves Library. So we have Maddie right here to talk about the University of Rochester. So Maddie, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Maddie Fordham. I'm a sophomore here and I'm double majoring in theater and American Sign Language. Okay, so about the University of Rochester, how would you describe the student climate and like student life here at the university? I like the student life here. Like it's a small-ish school, uh, so it's always fun to just go around, bump into friends in the library and the dining hall. It's not too big that you feel like you're completely lost, but there's like nice range of class sizes. You get to meet a lot of different people, and overall, I just really like how nice people are. Not everyone's like too competitive. We're all just kind of trying to be friends. What about the academic climate, like workload? Well, I do two kind of not traditional majors at the University of Rochester, double humanities. Um, so for me, the workload's not too bad. I like my small classes, but I've definitely been in like a couple of lecture classes that have been a little bit more intense. Um, so I can definitely see like when it can be overwhelming, but I think the teachers here are really dedicated to helping us do our best and make sure that we're prepared for things and not just kind of throwing us to the wolves. Mm -hmm. So what would you say on the, like, the pros and cons of the university? You have to be brutally honest. Oh, brutally honest. Okay. Uh, cons, dining hall. Mm -hmm. I do not like the dining halls here. I have the lowest possible meal plan that I can't have, and I use my kitchen to cook a lot for food because I really don't like the food here. Mm -hmm. um, pros, uh, I love like a lot of the study spaces. I love the library, Gleason, iZone. We have a lot of really good places to study. I like teachers, professors feel really approachable. I don't feel like I should be scared. They make themselves very available during office hours or email them if you're busy during your office hours. Um, I like the size of the university. Like I said, not too big, not too small. 
I like special interest housing. I live in Drama House, so I'm just surrounded by a bunch of theater kids, and it's a really great time. It's great. So, is there anything that makes the university unique, in your opinion? Um, is there anything that makes the university unique? Or like a more general question, like why did you come to the university specifically? I specifically came to the U of R because I was looking for somewhere to do an American Sign Language major, mm -hmm. and the University of Rochester is one of the only universities that offers like a full major, not just like a minor or a certification in ASL. So that was personally why I came here. Uh, also, like the deaf community surrounding Rochester is really, really cool and a big community. So I know that's kind of a niche answer, but that really is why I came to the university. That's awesome. So one more question, a final question. If you could give advice to your senior self, what would you say? Oh my god, don't stress so much. <laughs> senior year is just so stressful because you're applying to colleges and then you're waiting to hear back and then you're waiting about financial aid. It's just so much stress, but no matter what you do, it's all going to turn out fine in the end. So I would just, my advice to my senior self would just be to relax a little bit and to know it's all going to be okay. That's great. Thank you for your time, Addy. So right here we have our athletic center named Gorgon Athletic Center. As you can see right in the center of campus next to Rush Reeser Library. And inside is where we have most of our athletic facilities, such as the gym, swimming pools, and also indoor soccer stadiums that I'll show to you in a second. So as I have shown you before, in that building right there, Gorgon Hole, is where we have all of our athletic facilities, such as the gym and the fitness center. And right next to it is where we have our stadiums. This is called Fover Stadium. We have a football and soccer games. And right on that side, it's all snowy in there, but right on that side, we have our baseball field as well. So yeah, all the athletic facilities pretty much packed with all the players on campus. So this building right here is called Wilson Commons, and this is where one of our main dining halls is located, named The Pit. That's the dining hall that I was talking about where you can use declining money, which is basically UR currency. One great thing about this dining hall is that you can use swipes after 8 p.m. until about 12. As you can see, this building, Wilson Commons and the pit, is located pretty much at the center of campus. So very accessible to any students who live on campus. So let me walk in to show you what they have inside the dining hall. The pit right over here is usually the place where I go to get food I can go back to my So some of the stuff that we have here, we have the pizza bar right here. We have burrito served over here. We have the grill right over there where they serve burgers and hot dogs. We have some American Chinese food called the wok. And also foods and snacks just all over the place. So yeah, this is what we have in the pit. Upstairs at Wilson Commons, we also have our very own Starbucks here in Rochester. 